my name's Brianna, and I'm here for a chin implant and to fix a large Keelix guard on my ear. As far as my chin, I've always been bothered by my small chin, especially when I see it from the side. It looks like it really doesn't fit with the rest of my face. As far as my ear, a few years ago I decided to get a piercing in my upper ear. Unfortunately, after the piercing, I started to grow a huge scar. I never dreamed the scar would be so massive. I always wear my hair down to cover it, and I'm really kind of self-conscious about it. Brianna presented to me with a very interesting combination of issues. During my first meeting with Brianna, I focused on truly listening to try and get to the core of her concerns. I believe that one of the most important parts of eventually making a patient happy is to first take the time to patiently listen. It seems like a simple enough concept, but it's amazing how many physicians seem to skip that step. Once I had a true understanding of what bothered Brianna, I then performed the focused physical examination and formulated a precise surgical plan to address her concerns. As a plastic surgeon, I have a tremendous opportunity to make a positive impact on a patient's life. It all starts with the ability to listen. A careful physical examination included meticulous measurements of the areas of interest. The large keloid scar of Brianna's right ear was really quite impressive and its appearance would obviously cause anyone to be self-conscious. Before surgery, I take preoperative photographs and in some cases I input these photographs into my patented Divine Face software. Divine Face allows me to objectively measure and analyze my patient's facial features. It mathematically reveals precisely where facial disharmony exists. Divine Face can be used for surgical planning before facelifts, neck lifts, rhinoplasties, or any cosmetic facial procedure. Although, I must admit, I was a little nervous before actually meeting Dr. Hayduke. After my first visit with him, I was sure I chose the right surgeon. Later, I learned that Dr. Hayduke mathematically analyzed my face before surgery with the high-tech system that he created, something I doubt any other plastic surgeon would take the time to do. My surgical plan for Brianna is to first insert a chin implant to strengthen the bone structure of the lower third of her face. Liposculpture of the neck will then be performed to further improve her neck's appearance by removing unneeded excess fat. Lastly, Brianna's ear keloid will be excised and what's left of her ear will then be carefully reconstructed. Later in the day, she will go to a radiation center for her first ear radiation treatment. On the day of surgery, I was really excited and maybe just a little bit nervous. At the surgical center, before surgery, Dr. Hayduk saw me in the preoperative area, talked to me, and drew on my skin with a marker. After seeing him and talking to him, I immediately felt at ease, even though I was just about to go in for surgery. I knew I was in really good hands. The anesthesiologist then came in and gave me something through my IV to help me relax. The rest of it was really a piece of cake. I was sound asleep, didn't feel a single thing. Brianna's case was very straightforward. I made an incision under her chin, created a pocket, and carefully inserted the properly sized chin implant. I examined her from several angles of the room to be certain that everything looked just right. I then sculpted away excess fat from underneath her chin with liposculpture. This helped to improve the definition and contours of her neck. The massive keloid scar of her right ear was then excised with a scalpel. The resulting defect of her ear was then trimmed and recontoured to recreate the proper curves of a normal ear. When it comes to achieving a high quality surgical result, I believe that in addition to proper preoperative planning, it's the subtle technical details of how the surgery is performed that ultimately shows up in the final result. For example, the size of the sutures used, the shape of the needles used, the number of suture layers in the skin closure, and how gently the patient tissues are handled during surgery are all very important technical details. 
For Brianna, tiny sutures about as thin as a human hair were meticulously placed to achieve an aesthetic ear closure. When I woke up from surgery, I didn't even realize the procedure even started. That same afternoon, I went for my first radiation treatment to my ear. The radiation treatment was totally painless. All I had to do was just lie down, close my eyes, and let the machine do all the work. It was actually pretty cool and kind of sci-fi. The reason Brianna chose radiation treatments after keloid excision was to prevent another keloid from coming back in the same place. According to published research, without radiation, the chance of a keloid coming back after surgical excision alone may approach 80%. When radiation is added immediately after surgical excision, the chance of the keloid coming back can go down to less than 20%. That's a huge difference in recurrence rate. The radiation treatments were performed at an accredited radiation center supervised by a specialist known as a radiation oncologist. It's hard to explain just how happy I was walking into Dr. Hayduk's office for my first visit after surgery. I couldn't help but text my closest friends about how I was feeling that day. It was really a combination of excitement, happiness, and a sense of relief. Kind of like, yes, I finally did it. Making the decision to actually have surgery is really a personal thing. It took me years and years to gather up the courage to actually do this. No matter where you go for your surgery, there are always risks involved. And I knew that. Let's face it, it's all a little bit intimidating. All I can say is, for me, this was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I didn't have to do it, but I knew Deep down inside, I really needed this, for me. Whether I looked straight on or from profile view, I think my chin and neck both look 100% better. Everything now looks very natural and properly balanced with the rest of my face. I'm also really happy with my ear. The keeler scar is gone. I'm not shy anymore to pull my hair back and face the world with the new me. Before my surgery, I had really low self-esteem and felt really insecure. I hated taking pictures due to the angles they were being taken from. After my surgery, my results are phenomenal. I feel more confident about myself and the way I look. 